Hi, hi, Thomas. Hello, good morning. Good hi, morning. hi. How are you? Yeah, uh, fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice morning here. Ah, good. Here it is afternoon already. It's a sunny afternoon. Okay. Very yeah. nice. Well, I heard that, you know, of course, I learned uh, kind of Spain. And you're from, I'm um, actually Basque, Basque area, which is a little That's bit right. different from the ordinary Spanish area. However, you know, in a general, like Spain had a really hard time of the coronavirus. Exactly. Yeah. How about yeah, your region? Been, yeah, like the situation here has been, it's been um, tough in terms of like the, the lockdown measures have been extremely harsh compared mm. to other European countries. Mm. And uh, we've actually been under lockdown for two months now. Like we have been unable to go to the street uh, for two months now. So it's been, it's been quite hard. Oh, you are sti <laughs> still uh, in a stay home order right now. Exactly. Like so, it's starting yesterday. Uh, the measures have been uh, have been released a little bit. So, in a sense that now we're able to go to like for walks and we're able to go for runs. And but uh, up until yesterday, it was very strict, and we mm. had to stay home. I hope your family and the relative and the friends or everybody is okay. Thank you very much. They're mm. all doing okay. Thank you. Oh, that's good. That's good. Hope you're still. <laughs> sure, thank you. Yeah, I'm fine. Also, my family is fine. And uh, um, let's say, um, what, why, why it was so spread in Spain? Do you have any reason? That is a very good question. So mm. um, the thing, I, the, there's no, there's no like pinpoint. Of course, um, the the three countries at the moment that are suffering the most from mm. the coronavirus spread mm. are happen to be France, Italy. Um, Spain and of course uh, the United States, of right? Course. And uh, coincidentally, as well, those three countries plus the United States happen to be the three or four most visited countries in the world. Mm. Paris specifically gets uh, some somewhere about sixty million international visitors sure. every year. Mm -hmm. Spain gets about fifty million international visitors every every year. So there's a bit of a correlation between like international hubs that have mm -hmm. been traditionally open to the world and the, the virus spread. But I other see. than that, um, I don't think Spain took very good measures in terms of like testing its people. Um, and then once the testing started, it was a bit, a little bit too late. Oh. Um, yeah, but at least we know that the government is being honest and is reporting on every single coronavirus case, mm -hmm. as opposed to maybe other countries that are trying to hide the numbers a little bit. <laughs> well, you know, um, talking about the Basque, like Catalonia, you know, of course, there are different regions, you know, in Spain, you know, they have a unique mm -hmm. culture. Also, not only that, politically, it is divided sometimes. But uh, this coronavirus exactly. time, how about that? You know, do, do, do you know central government did a good job for you too? Yeah. So there was a bit of tension at the beginning, mm. especially because um, there was um, there was a bit of disagreement be between all the different like um, uh -huh. municipalities, well, gov local governments, right? Mm -hmm. And they when when the Spanish government enforced a nationwide lockdown, mm -hmm. like to all businesses, all economic activities, except just a few key industries mm -hmm. that, um, that created a little bit, a little bit of disagreement because mm -hmm. obviously all the measures were going to have like an economic effect mm -hmm. on the, on the region, I agree. right? Yes. Yes. So, uh, but then I think the public opinion in general, all around Spain is very happy with the measures that um, the president of Spain has, has implemented. Um, they're, they're, I mean, he's regarded as uh, a person who's, who's like with the amount of time he's had to react, has done more or less the best job that they, they could. <laughs> I see, I see. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. So uh, can I ask you, what is your vocation right now? Hmm. So I currently have, I, I am the owner of a business, mm. uh, we do, um, so we have like a community of translators around the world and we work as a translation agency for mm -hmm. um, businesses around the world. Oh, that's um, good. So in that regard, my business has not ha hasn't been affected at all. 
mm. uh, because actually we get we have more demand now than ever. <laughs> <laughs> but it is true that especially maybe at the beginning was a bit of a, a little bit of a challenge mm. reorganizing the I internal see. structure of the company. Uh, so you mean, you mean, you mean uh, like are people looking for a job, it's going to you, coming to you to find out that is why your business is really mm. not so bad. Yeah, exactly. Like mm. um, a, lot of, a lot of businesses right now uh, that would have traditionally sold the, the uh, products in the mm. street, right? Like mm -hmm. in shops, sure. they're now turning to online solutions uh, to to be able to offer those services and those products. And in that regard, we're getting more work than ever because a lot ah. of these companies, they're turning, they're putting all their content online and mm. they're uh, mm. trying to export it to as many I countries see. as they can. Uh -huh. So, so yeah. Well, you know, Bilbao is quite famous for its touristic place as well as a historical kind of hub of the Basque counties, you know? And mm. uh, of course, in that case, a lot of small business owners must suffer because of the stay order, stay home order. Am I correct? Exactly. Mm. How serious it That's, is? Mm. Mm. How, how serious it is? Uh, so it's it's going to be... So we, we're only now starting to see the effects. Uh, we've seen a lot of... Uh, not just like small businesses, of course, but also big businesses. Um, um, you know, having to lay off some people or make them redundant mm. uh, because of the situation. And we've seen like a lot of people as well now there's almost there's almost more people now um, like getting help from the government for their mm -hmm. businesses or, or for them for themselves mm -hmm. than people actually earning money from from uh, from doing sure, actual real sure. business right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it's it's we will see the economic we still need to wait like two to three months, but we will see the economic effects of this, especially during summer, because mm -hmm. Spain like is he is heavily dependent on um, on tourism. Mm. So that that's going to hurt the economy really badly. In the yeah, next few, that in too. The you know, Tokyo too. Of course, you know, a lot of tourists, in particular, this kind of nice time. You know, mm. people lost a lot of chances and opportunities. You know, because of corona pandemic. I hope that's a exactly. you know, I mean. Basque County must uh, ho hope you know, recover from that pretty soon. You have a good package from the government? Yeah, so the, the government has put together, like not just like the Spanish government and the Basque government, but also the European Union has put together. Oh, like, really? Uh, oh. Yeah, like a, like a big, um, they're, they're preparing like different things. And I've actually gotten um, a little bit of help in that, in that regard. Uh, from from all these different uh, ins institutions to mm. promote my business. Oh, but excuse also, me, excuse me. Uh, let me check about uh, European Union. You said that the European Union mm -hmm. also help local business too. Um, yeah, uh, especially not 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 so much local businesses. Mm. They they're helping like um, or their packages are rather focused on trying to help uh, in innovative businesses, mm. uh, businesses that make sense. Like with the new reality that we are about to face, um, businesses that leverage intelligent ways of tech, uh, of using technology to I promote see. to promote like a, an economy that mm. can survive in conditions like this one, I right? Understand. And um, and this is like we our company has had like an like um, technological approach from the beginning, and this is kind of like the helps we've been getting in order to you know survive the current crisis and. Um, and, and yeah, and grow grow faster. I, I mean, see. something something that we need to keep in mind. Uh, we know that there there's an economic business, uh, an economic crisis coming our way. Mm -hmm. But also in two thousand and eight and two thousand and nine, there was like a big uh, crisis, especially in the European Union mm. and in America, right? Sure. And um, it was that time where the biggest businesses that we now we we now know today, so Airbnb. Uber, mm. all these big companies, mm. they grew from the financial crisis of 2008 to 2009, right? Mm -hmm. So there's always new opportunities. Mm -hmm. And this is what the European Union is now trying to focus on, on these new opportunities that will I see. arise so, from a situation like this. Which might mean you know, why the local government is helping financially, but European Union is helping by sharing the information, that means. Um, the opinion is helping by sharing the information. information what, what do you mean exactly? Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, please go ahead, please. 
sorry, sorry. What what do you mean? Uh, what do you, you know, mean because by the lo- 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 role of the European Union, how to help to the local business. You say like a more like a big business. You say lo- European Union is working for. Yeah. Mm. It, yeah, it's it's they're not. I mean, they are helping. It doesn't matter the size mm. as long as um, you know. If you, for example, if you are a local bar, mm. it's very difficult that you will get a like help, like mm-hmm. a big package from the European Union. But if your company has some sort of like like technological approach mm. um, that deals with the situation, like that, you know. A, approaches the current situation in in creative and innovative ways mm. then you will surely get like uh, ah, help from the government that I promoting um you know telecommuting promoting um companies being able to work in the distance promoting online online retailing and all that stuff right like logistics um um also healthcare um all everything that has to do with like the old, like new forms of entertainment from home and new forms to connect with people uh, like from home etc all this type of businesses mm. they are they're getting like a lot of help from the European Union so the economy will will grow from a situation like this uh-huh. for yourself you know I mean stay home order is tough or you need to go out or like uh, and then how you maintain your kind of mentally physically healthy yeah life. <laughs> I, it's been it's like for for almost two months. I was I've only been leaving the house once a week, oh. thirty minutes, to go to the supermarket, mm. right? <laughs> Just thirty minutes. Oh. But uh, it's been it's been fine. It's I mean I'm I've been doing a lot of exercise at home. I've been <laughs> really like connected with my with my colleagues. We've been having like daily meetings. I've been talking to my friends on the phone on a daily basis. I've been um, just generally like being. I felt now more connected with the people around me oh, than ever. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Comment. I I talk, I spoke to people to friends that I haven't spoken to in years. I reconnected with them. I I build like like stronger. I feel like I built stronger ties with them. I've met I've met new people as well online. Uh uh-huh. um, With through like. This big video conferences, it was, it's been fantastic, really. A little bit delicate question. So that kind of pandemic may, how can I say, integrate country as a Spain again, or still this kind of division will be continued? Um, <laughs> it will, it will, I mean, <laughs> this is like polit- politically, obviously, I am, mm. I am biased, right? Like sure. uh, I have my own, my own sort of, vision uh, and my own wishes mm-hmm. on on what I, what I would like to happen I feel what, like there were some scientists saying on the radio mm. um, we as a society and individually we mm. will not remember uh, the pandemic in a few mm. years we will not remember this situation this mm. situation is not um, traumatic enough for us to remember it for years to come right at the end of the day our lives they've changed a little bit but not so much um so i don't think it's going to create like i think the media is a li- really exaggerating i understand the, uh, the effect that this is having our lives are not changing that much and as a consequence i don't think politically mm. Um, the situation will change that much. If before it was divided, it will continue to be, to be divided ah. in, in the next... And if before, if it was united, it will continue to be united. I this won't change that I much. Understand. My, my theory. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Well, you know, uh, last question. Um, do you have any message to the world under this pandemic? Um, of course. Um, yes. You know, especially as a business owner, I feel, again, like, remember this situation like this a challenge like this is the best opportunity to show the best of what you can do and what you can be it Mm. is it is a situation that pushes us to a limit where we need to be smart and we need to think um in in creative ways Mm. and so it it will give us it will like to all those who have this strength and have the intelligence it will give them a big opportunity to become become even 
bigger after this crisis. Ah, that's good so, idea. Okay. You're positive. <laughs> good luck to that's everyone. good. Yeah. Yeah, Thomas, um, please stay healthy. Okay. Thank you very and, much. And uh, so I hope to see you soon, maybe in the Basque. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. come visit us sometime. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. えー、と今日はですねあのスペインからの,あの、まあ、インタビューなんですねスペインの方でもねこの人ですねスペインの中でもバスク地方と言いましてねスペインの北の方に住んでらっしゃる方なんですよねあのトーマスですね彼はね、えー、とバスクなんで私バスクかっていうとバスクってスペインの中でもね特別な文化を持っててスペインからこうどちらかというと分離独立をしようとした動きもあるようなところなんです最近ほらバルセロナとかあの辺りがそういうことがあったじゃないですかスペインって結構複雑な国なんですねでもそういう中でこのパンデミックが起きちゃったね、コロナが起きた。最初はですね、中央の政府の言うことを地方の、まあ、バスクの人たちも、ええー、と思って、経済が大事だなと思ってたけど、だんだんとこう、やっぱりこう、蔓延していくに従ってね、やっぱり中央政府のやってることに、こう、だんだん従うようになってきたと。しかしながら、まあ、とはいえね、あの、民族同士のこう、違いとかそういうものっていうのは残っていくんじゃないかなというコメントでした。ただ一つ面白かったのはですね、スペインの政府、それからローカルなバスクの政府、そういう人たちが、スモールビジネスとかいろんな人たちについてね、非常にこう、まあこう、ヘルプするわけですよね、経済的にね。だけど同時にね、ヨーロッパ、ヨーロッパユニオンね、EU ですよね。あの、ここがどれぐらい、その、なんていうのかな、ヘルプしてるかという、この側面があると。例えば、コミュニケーションのいろんなツールを紹介したり、こういうことと、こういうとこをマッチングしてみたりとか、そういう全体のヨーロッパの中でね、えっと、何かこういう厳しい中で経済を立て直すことができるかという意味での、いろんなヘルプがあったんだと。いうところがですね、あの、まあ、二層三層のね、この、まあ、一つにまとまったヨーロッパの力強さだなというふうに感じました。彼はね、あの、まあ、インタビューの後でね、まあ、家族がお年寄りがいるのですごくね、あの、お年寄りに移さないように自分は家の中にいて、家族、あの、お年寄りの、まあ、家族の方とは距離を保ってたんだよという話をしてましたけれどもね、あの、まあ、ずっと家の中にいながらも、まあ、その機会を利用して自分のビジネスをしっかりと考え直して、あの、それから、さらにね、次のチャンスへ向かって頑張りたいという、非常にポジティブな考え方を持ってましたね。あの、まあ、スペイン、大変な、まあ、コロナで大変な目に遭いましたけど、あの、まあ、こういう形で、だんだんと今、立ち直っていってるところですね。はい。また、あの、次の国に行ってみます。